Welcome back. This is Excel Video 503, and I'm Nate Moore. Next week, I'm going on site to a, a clinic that said, hey, Nate, can you just come to our clinic for a day? Let us show you all the reports we're currently running, the way we're having to fight our system because it's cloud-based and we can't get the data we want. Can you help us automate, simplify, and make our lives easier? I'm headed there next week. If I can do something similar for your practice, I'd love to help you. We're going to talk about the last major type of visualization in PowerView today. You can map data in PowerView. Now the advantage of mapping data in PowerView is you get all the other PowerView tools and visualizations we've been playing with over the last series of Excel videos. There are newer ways to map that we'll get to as soon as we're through with PowerView. But if you want to map data along with other visualizations, here's how to do it. First caveat is, before you even think about getting started, you need to be connected to the internet because Microsoft is going to surprise use Bing to pull the geographic data. So we're connected to the internet. I have a new PowerView visualization, a blank template up here to play with. Let's get started. I'm going to play with my diabetic data today because what I want to do is I want to, let's drag the zip code down here. There we go. And it's going to sum it, which isn't going to help me, but that's okay. And then I'm going to drag the patient ID and I'm going to come over here and let's count distinct. And there are ways to make it automatically do distinct when you pull it in. We will get to more ways to control this PowerView fields table. In There are ways out, but they're coming, Excel videos. For the time being, we're going to click the drop down and count distinct. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I have a visualization here. We've done tables and charts and all this. We're going to do a map now. So we're, we'll, with this visualization highlighted, we're going to flip to a map, and it's awfully small, so we're going to make it a bit bigger. And now what we need to do is help the PowerView fields put things in the right place. Notice the little, this is a globe here next to zip. You'll see another one next to city. What Excel has done is it's gone through my data and recognized, hey, that looks like a geographic field. And when it recognizes that, it will put a globe next to it. Sometimes it helps to have more than one geographic field so that if you have a, a city, there may be a city with the same name in a whole bunch of different states or even in different parts of the world. So combining multiple geographic fields helps Bing put the city in the right place, if that, if that means anything. So that said, we're going to take the geographic field we have, we'll put it in locations. Now, I intentionally left this up. The, uh, the privacy warning says, hey, we need to geocode your data, and the map won't work until you allow Bing to do it. And, and Bing says, oh, here, let me help you. And notice how I have a bunch of fake data centered around Nashville, Tennessee. Now we can come over here and here's all the other fields that we can play with. But for the time being, I think all I want to do is let's let's put patient ID back in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the size of the visualization. And notice what happens when I hover. Now I, I've got to fix, let's fix the, we, let's go back and fix that patient ID again. Remember we're going to count distinct. Now that I do that, I can tell you here in the zip code 37207, I have 7,500 unique patients. Over here, I have 3,000. Here, it's larger. I have 13,000. So I can hover to see what I'm doing with the map. There are other things we can do here, but the, I just want to show you how to navigate around this map to start with, and then we'll play with more features in the next Excel video. Now that we have it, what we can do, there's a couple of things. There's plus and minus here to zoom in and zoom out. You can also, I'm also scrolling the mouse to zoom in and zoom out. Either one of those works. You can click inside the map and drag if you wanted to highlight, hey, on the northern area, or this will pan as well. For me, it's easier for me to drag and scroll with the mouse, but these tools are here to play with if you need them. That's how to start building a map in PowerView. Obviously, we could do some more fancy things. We can add a title and do that kind of thing. Yeah, one more trick just for today. Let's go to the Layout tab and go to Map Background. What you can do is you can change the type of background that you get based on the map. So this is a road map background. So you can see like the belt route or whatever. If that helps you, you can do grayscale like what we had. Reverse grayscale. Zoom in a bit so you can see it. This is what Arial looks like. And this is grayscale Arial. For me, th that default 
grayscale works just fine for what I need. But now you've got at least some ways to start to play. We're going to get a bit fancier. You knew we would. And we'll do it in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.